Hey everyone, I'm Mariana and today we're going to talk about the Southern Reach trilogy by Jeff Vandermeer, the first book being Annihilation. This is the most famous one of the three. The second book is Authority and the third book is Acceptance. Just a quick side note before I get into this, if you didn't know or if you were wondering if this is somehow related to an upcoming film, yes, there is a movie adaptation coming out on February 23rd and I am pretty excited about it. It is written and directed by Alex Garland, the man behind Ex Machina, which is an excellent sci-fi film. If you haven't seen it, absolutely 100% check it out. The cast looks great, the visuals look very interesting, so I am definitely looking forward to it. As far as I've read, the movie adaptation is meant to be a standalone. They currently don't have any plans to film the rest of the series, and from the looks of the trailer, they will be including information from book two and book three. So just to give you heads up in case you want to make sure that the movie doesn't spoil the rest of the series for you if you've only read book one. It definitely looks like some major reveals are going to happen in the movie. Also, it does look like they're going to be making some changes to the story, maybe making it a bit more action-packed, although that may just be the way the trailer is cut because those can be confusing and misleading sometimes. But there are some things in that trailer that were not in the book, for sure. Either way, the trailer does look good. I am very excited to see the movie. I will leave the trailer in the info box below if you haven't seen the trailer yet so you can check it out and we can all look forward to this movie. It was supposed to come out last year, side note, this was one of my most anticipated films of 2017, but they moved the release date. So had to wait a year. It's finally going to be here soon and we will probably talk about it once it's out. Anyways, back to the Southern Reach trilogy. Overall, the series is a weird nature type sci-fi thriller. This is the best way I can describe it, except for it's not as action-packed as it sounds. The premise of the first book, Annihilation, is that we have the 12th expedition to the mysterious Area X, where nature has completely taken over and weird things are happening. Most of the previous expeditions have not ended well. People have just not come back. People have come back really changed. People have died from cancer. Some people committed suicide. Some people shot each other. It has not been a smooth ride for the expeditions that went in before. So so this time around, they are sending four women, an anthropologist, a surveyor, a psychologist, and a biologist. And the biologist's point of view is what we get in Annihilation. Of course, this goes all kinds of wrong and all kinds of strange things start happening. This book series seems to get some mixed reviews because even among the people who really enjoyed Annihilation, there are quite a few people who did not think the rest of the series was all that great. And I have some theories as to why that is. Personally, I actually really enjoyed the series and I would recommend it as long as you go into it with some realistic expectations and I'm about to set those for you. As far as my ratings go, I would give four out of five to this series overall. The first book, I did rate four out of five stars. The second book, Authority, I rated three and a half out of five stars, which I still obviously enjoyed, but I thought it was not as great as book one. And then book three, Acceptance, I rated four out of five stars. Again, I thought it was a worthy ending to the series and it did some interesting things. What I enjoyed the most about the entire trilogy is that it had a great sci-fi thriller atmosphere, sometimes bordering sci-fi horror, and I love that kind of stuff. It was very mysterious, the weird nature stuff was very strange and trippy, and the general concept was very intriguing to me. 
I generally thought that every book had a very strong beginning that just got me interested right away and I loved the endings of each of the books. Jeff Vandermeer is really good at beginnings and endings. His setups always get my attention and his endings are always very fitting in my opinion. Now I'm not opposed to endings that are a little bit open and I feel like with the types of stories that he tells, not just with the Southern Reach trilogy, but also with Born, which is an unrelated book that is kind of of a similar genre. I feel like giving a definite story is over, everything's done here, all of the answers type of ending would not have fit the story. So I think the endings are really good and they made me want to keep reading when it came to book one and book two. However, the middle portions of all of his books are where things can get a little bit muddled. I never thought they were bad or boring, but I did think the middle portion was the weakest part. Now, talking specifically about book two, which is where a lot of people start losing interest in the series, the thing is, book two in its setting is very different from book one. Annihilation this friend over here, leaves you with a lot of questions. You read this really weird story, you want to know what's going on, why it's happening, what, who, when, all of these questions that you have left after this book. And the ending in particular kind of leads you into something and then the perspective switches. You get a different person's perspective in authority and the setting is actually a corporate setting because we see kind of the back end of the expeditions. We see the actual Southern Reach, which is an agency that organizes these expeditions. And while this is a very interesting perspective and I did eventually get into it, the thing is, after you finish this book, all you want to do is you want to go back to Area X. And so when I started Authority, I was like, okay, yes, this is interesting. I'm digging this new perspective. I'm liking the behind the scenes, but can we get back to this story? So that is why I think this series starts losing its readers. It's not like book two is bad. It's just not what you want after finishing this. Now, when it comes to book three, I cannot tell you anything about it because that would be spoilers. But the only thing I'm going to say about it is that the difference between book one, book two, and book three is that you actually get multiple perspectives in book three. I'm not going to tell you whose perspectives, or how many there are, but book one, you have one perspective, book two, you have one perspective, but a different character, book three, it's kind of a different beast. And I really liked it because I do like books that offer multiple POVs. Also, something to be aware of is that the series overall is more focused on setting up a mysterious situation and then slowly revealing what's going on and giving you answers or letting you figure out the answers. It doesn't give you all of the answers, but it gives you most of the answers throughout books two and three. And it doesn't really make a lot of progress plot-wise. Don't get me wrong, things still happen, plot still advances, but the plot is not really the driving force of the trilogy. At least that's not how it seemed to me. The driving force is unwinding this mystery and kind of seeing where things can even go from here. So when you hear that something is a sci-fi thriller, you may expect a little bit more action and there's definitely a little bit more action in book one, whereas book two is very kind of corporate conspiracy and then book three, well, I'm not going to tell you anything about book three, but it's kind of 
a bit of both and a bit of revealing information slowly. So what I'm trying to say here is that for a specific reader, this is going to be an excellent series. But if you are expecting a lot of action, a lot of plot driven storytelling, then this may be a bit of a expectation adjustment for you because it's not really that kind of trilogy. And all of the lines come together in the end. It makes sense why the author wrote things that way. But while you're kind of on the path to the answers, you can get a little bit frustrated if you like for things to move along quickly. Also, I do want to mention that Jeff Vandermeer's most recent book, I think it's the most recent book, Born, which came out last year, is kind of similar as far as the genre and the feel of things goes. So if you did enjoy Annihilation or the entirety of the Southern Reach trilogy, I would highly recommend checking this out. And if you read Born and enjoyed it, I think you will most likely enjoy the Southern Reach trilogy. But yes, I would absolutely recommend Annihilation and I would recommend the rest of the series as long as you have proper expectations for it. I keep saying this word expectations because I can just tell by the Goodreads reviews that people were kind of taken aback by where the series actually went. But if the concept sounds interesting to you, 100% give this a try. All right, guys, that's it for my review of the Southern Reach trilogy. Let me know if you have read these books or if you've only read the first book and what did you think of them. Let me know if you're looking forward to the movie, which I feel like we all should. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and the cast is amazing. I'm so excited for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!